For those with vascular disease like arterial sclerosis and plaque, which cause life-threatening blockages, there is hope, as we learn from Dr. Gilberto Russo, a vascular surgeon at Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs. Vascular surgery covers all vessels, both arterial and venous, other than the heart. So essentially all of the ducts, all of the piping that uh, carry uh, blood back and forth the uh, uh, heart are covered by vascular surgery. One of the main problems of these ducts is they tend to get occluded and they occlude with formation of the famous atherosclerotic plaque. So since the, uh, this plaque obviously, uh, unless there are intrinsic abnormalities in the uh, person, uh, is linked to time and age, in essence, other than trauma, we will end up treating uh, the uh, elder population. We have arteries that carry blood to the brain. Those arteries, namely the carotids, typically the anterior one, are subject to that phenomenon that we just uh, uh, described. And, uh, and the way that will manifest is with mini strokes or strokes. So these are arteries that we fix by either cleaning them or stenting them, which is the older and the newer approach to vascular surgery as a whole. You open and you do your surgery, or you go through wires inside the vessel and you stent. Second class of population, people that would have start, will start having problems walking. They say that after one block, two blocks, their legs, their muscle groups will hurt. Those people will have occlusions in any one of the vessels that go from the heart to their legs. There too, depending on the uh, type of vessel, we open and clean, we open and bypass, or without neither of those, we just stent from the inside. And on and on. So there is blood supply to the bowel. So some people will say 15, 20 minutes after I eat, I start having pain in my abdomen. Well, then obviously there is not enough blood supply to the bowel. And then again, we go there, we either bypass or clean. The, the, the main motive, the, the underlying principle here is that uh, blood carries oxygen among other things. And therefore, in any occasion in which the oxygen demand raises, if you don't have enough uh, blood, you will not have enough oxygen. So many people, for instance, will be perfectly fine at rest, and as soon as they start walking, they will have pain in their legs. The second stage of that disease is that you don't have enough oxygen even when you're resting, and therefore with them you will have pain all the time. The blood perfusion will be reestablished, and as soon as the patient uh, goes beyond the trauma of surgery, the pain related to the incision, from a vascular surgery perspective, he or she will start feeling much, much better rapidly. Not to mention the fact that now we, can, we tend to do some surgery. For instance, uh, I like to do carotids uh, under local anesthesia at, at desert. And uh, um, that allows us to treat even an older and higher risk population because obviously all the risks associated to anesthesia, in particular the cardiac risks and respiratory, will be decreased. It is immediate reward. The patient will feel better immediately or he risk, his risk or her risk will be drastically decreased immediately.